Hello guys, I just got this iPhone 12 Pro Max and um, I'm just super excited and I'm just going to show you what's what I feel and what's what I think of this, my impression. And I had the iPhone 5S, actually my favorite phone of the iPhone flagship, that on October 15, 2013 guys. And I mean, I have actually used it on the Phantom and without you know iphone 5s i don't think i can ever introduce myself flying a drone flying a phantom drone and that was the first of a kind that i actually like it you know especially with the shape of it and everything it was to me it's like more like a quality of a phone and now i'm just super excited and i'm just going to show you guys what i think of it and here you go let's go ahead and check it out wow it is a huge phone. I mean, the vessel. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. That is nice. That is solid, guys. And that's the reason why I waited until the 12 have this edges it's the same thing with the ipad pro and i just like this um it just i mean it just wow you know it's just massive and also that's why i like the osmo you see that's how detailed it is and you see that and wow just amazing in my hand but one problem about this iPhone 12 Pro Max is the fact that it doesn't come with the brick. Hopefully DJI don't do that because um, good thing I still have my iPad Pro and I can use this to charge my iPhone 12 Pro Max. But the detail of it, I'm surprised how huge this phone with the camera. Hmm. Let's go ahead, what else in here? And that's it. <laughs> I feel like I paid for the vessel. <laughs> you know? I don't know how DJ... I, I'm sorry. I don't know how an Apple say that by having this, you will... You know, they'll save them. I don't know. It's just environment. I mean, think about it. <laughs> but anyway. Very interesting. And that's how I like this color. Because I like my action camera this color also and let's go ahead and put this on the let's go ahead and put this on the um asmo mobile 4 and i did complain about this uh asmo mobile 4 when it when it you know came out because the 3 is the same kind of size and i thought dgi is going to make something smaller but now it's understandable because you have this massive phone you would want something to hold it in place and i think now it makes sense to to have this so let's go ahead but I'm just surprised how the quality of it, I mean, it just, you know, this just remind me of the SE that I had and the iPhone 5 a bit. And I guess it's the future. Hmm. Interesting. Look at that massive camera. Wow. 
Look at that. Interesting. So, <clears throat> yeah. In my opinion, um, I think it's nice. If you are thinking about it, you know, um, it's a good investment. I had uh, my iPhone 10s and 10 I had no problem with it even till now and of course you know having this is just wow especially with this big size interesting again I just want to say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share and I'm gonna go ahead and put this two together see if we can the stabilization on this and and they both can shoot 4k 60 and we're gonna see what's all about again i said thank you for watching subscribe like and share